Okay, folks, welcome back. So we are gonna check out Light's Breach, hopefully, if we get everyone in there. We got 14 to 15 DPS. That was the DPS, right? That was the DPS. And this is obviously looking for raid. I also just realized that my... My, um... Oh, nice. Here we go. Okay. My deadly boss mod is outdated, I think. We've breached the light forged. Secure I think. this position. We'll see how that goes. Okay. So I did look a little bit ahead at some of the bosses. We'll draw all the fire we can, Kodarian, but we cannot hold out long. You must disable their defenses. We will not fail you, Prophet. Champions, we'll keep these winged beasts occupied while you clear a path. This is really cool. <laughs> I'm just like listening, looking around. I see they're like nuking these flying bat things. Uh, I guess we're clearing a path now. I haven't played my rogue in a little bit. I gotta remember how to do this. I did get uh, retransmogged myself. That's important stuff, right? I got my hat. Uh, I got my hat back. Um, so that's good. That's good. The hat's like the best part too. It's like they're definitely like the most important part. So I can't like not have the hat. Anyway, I, I sort of sort of looked ahead. Uh, at sort of what I the boss the, to the first two sets of bosses, um, just to get a sense of what I need to do as a damage dealer because I. Don't know how easily. Let's, let's kill this big guy. Let's kill this guy. I'm not really sure how. Uh, I don't, what am I just trying to say? I'm not really sure how easy it is to clear this content looking for raid. I've heard it's pretty easy content in normal difficulty. I, I think, relative to some of the other raids in Legion. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be an easy content to clear and looking for raid. Right, looking for raids like a whole other beast of uh, casual scum like myself. Just like jumping in, like, oh yeah, this looks fun, let's try it, and not reading even how the boss works ahead of time. So, uh, yeah, this, is a, this dude's big, by the way. I didn't realize how much health this guy has. Uh, I'm glad I targeted him instead of the other one. I should have probably just popped my cooldowns, to be honest. Um, okay, so. You know, it's the beginning of Antorus. This is Light's Breach, which I guess is like, we are the Light, right? So, like, we are breaching the entrance. Uh, to the whole raid, I guess, in a sense, right? Okay, that was fun. Um, cool. I'm just gonna sprint. I should pull out a pet, shouldn't I? I should. Always pull out a pet. Let's summon Skybow. Seems fun. Oh man, when these when all these mobs are like piled up like this, I'm always really sad I don't have a... Uh, cannonball Barrage. Like, I always feel so good at these moments. Uh, that's okay. I'll live without it. Anyway, I popped my cooldowns. I actually got top uh, 5 DPS there for a moment. For just a brief, brief moment. <laughs> uh, I think it's what happens when you pop your cooldowns, I guess, and you get in there quickly. I don't know what that uh, weird effect is on me. It looks bad. I should step away from it. <laughs> Something was like very uh, glowy and scary looking on me. I did not like it. I'm going to go over here for a sec. Don't try something. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I'm standing in something I should be standing in. This stuff. Yeah, that stuff. Okay. So I think I'm gonna play standing in something it's, that's killing me slowly. Or maybe quickly, I don't know. It seems slowly. Alright, we jumping down? Alright, here we go. This is the first... No, this is not the first boss. <laughs> Ooh. It's cool effects though. Okay, I might as well turn off my uh, blade flurry for this guy. I, I, I'm kind of waiting for like more bosses of knockback. I haven't seen a lot of knockback in Legion bosses, at least I'm looking for raid, right? So I'm looking for raid. But like, I don't know, it'd be kind of funny if this guy like threw us back, if we were standing here and he's like launched us off the cliff and we died. I, I kind of miss that in bosses. Um, there's not a lot of bosses that did that in vanilla, but there were a few. Let's dodge that stuff. There were a few that would do that kind of stuff, uh, which is always funny to me. I think my favorite was, um, what's it called? Uh, Lord Incendius? Or just Incendius? in Blackrock Deaths. Um, he's not, not not a raid boss, obviously, but that was always one of my favorite um, knockback bosses, because he kind of knocked you back somewhat... He, he couldn't, like, predict it. As far as I know, I mean, you knew that it could happen. I feel like people are standing in this stuff, which maybe I should be standing in it, too. Um, oh, we got some... Whoa. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, this is the boss. Okay. Oh, that was terrifying. I guess I go up here and hit him. Yeah. Okay, I tried to read ahead. I didn't know this was the boss. I'm not quite ready for this. I was trying to read ahead. 
a little bit. And trying to get a sense of what it should do. Um, apparently if he casts Apocalypse Drive, I'm supposed to kill a Fog Cannon. And if he, I got a little notes here. If uh, he casts Annihilation on someone, I should soak that damage. Like I should go near that person. And if I'm targeted by Decimation, I should move away from him. I'm targeted by Decimation, I should move away from him. Alright, that's like what I'm supposed to do. I don't see Decimation on me anymore, so I think I'm good. I think. I don't know if I missed it or what, but okay. Maybe that's too slow. <laughs> yeah, I was like just reading. It's like, oh, if I get targeted by Decimation, I should move away. And then I like... Within a moment after that, I was targeted by Decimation. <laughs> so. Uh, yes, I should probably move up this, like, damage meter so I can actually see where I stand on this chart. Probably pretty bad. Um, film, film Bombardment? Okay. I don't know if I'm standing on, like, the correct side of him. I still have people over here melee. Maybe I should move by those people. Looks like we generally moved... Oh, I should stand in this, right? Oh, yeah, that's how it, yeah. Stand in the areas of, yep, got it, got it, okay. Alright, pop in some cooldowns. This guy's got a fair amount of health, it feels like, right? Like, I don't know how long this fight's been going, I wasn't watching the timer, but... Uh, let's, let's, I'm just going to stay where the melee is standing. <laughs> I don't want to trust they know what they're doing, but I'm not exactly sure. I, I don't understand what he's doing. Looks like he like fell over and is like weakened. I know it was a pop up strap. Got it. Got it. I'm sure people in like YouTube chat or YouTube comments are just like, "What are you talking about? You have no idea what you're doing." Um, okay, I don't, that worked. I think I uh, I use my. Here it's called grappling hook, right? A yeah, grappling hook. That's useful. You could use for grappling hook, I think. So I see people generally moving out of that stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. Move out of it. That works. I need to be better about keeping up um, with all the bones. Okay. He's at off 40% health, so looking okay. I don't think we got any deaths yet. Oh, we got a couple, three deaths. Okay, good, good. So it's a little bit, of, a little more exciting that way. That's way more exciting. Let's not stand in those things. I'm trying to like scoot up a little bit. Dodge that madness. Okay. You're a target for decimation. Run. Move away. Oops, didn't mean to turn that on. Let's do this. I mean, I, I never know if it makes sense like entirely. So it depends on the fight, I guess, right? To use Crimson Vial, but. Uh, it seems like it does take away from my DPS a little bit, but it seems like the healing that I gain from that is makes up for that. So I do, I don't know if you've noticed, I do tend to pop it when I can. Yikes. Oh god, I just got wrecked. I don't know if I was, I didn't really, really pay attention to where I was standing, I guess, but wrecked me. Okay. There goes their top DPS, so that's probably bad news. Let's see if I get a res, battle res. I'll just keep, I don't expect to, but I'll keep an eye on it. Alright, I mean, this health is dropping pretty fast. I think we can do this. Okay, let's see if people get out back for this and don't get nuked in the front. You can see a bunch of health. I was just watching the health pros over here. A bunch of people's health just, like, got dropped rapidly, but no one no one died. And, uh, you can't see it, actually. I guess I realize my, my face is covering up, but there's now four dead people. Uh, I'm one of the bottom two. And then Rush right here is the third and then fourth up here. So you got, like, four deaths total. We're still doing okay. Oh, I need to like move that bar, like modify it a bit so it doesn't drag so low and sticks out a little more to the right. I'll deal with that another day. It's kind of exciting just to watch instead of uh, being involved, but it looks like we got him. Good job, squad. I will say, it takes a little bit of focus away talking while you're playing. I don't know if anyone else has ever done that. Should I release? Does that make sense? Or just get rezzed? Cursed shard. I've started my assault on the northern front. 
I'll keep their forces occupied so you can hit the priority targets. Oh. Our forces are moving towards Legion High Command. Buy us all the time you can, Amelia. Do they not res people? There's, there's me and one other person dead still. Oh, I can mount. <laughs> well, okay. I The other person's still dead, so apparently uh, I just needed to release, which is fine, because it's not that far of a run, I probably should have just released. But I just am like, used to raids where people res you when you die, and I haven't died a lot in looking for raid raids yet. So I'm still like a little unfamiliar with how it works. Um, did I like... I was gonna say, did I like get, miss my loot or something? It's like, oh god. Oops, I dismounted. I gotta see if that's any good for me. Hopefully that is. I'll take a look in a second. I just want to catch up with the raid first. Um, I also don't know what this even is. The cursed shark. I'll have to figure out both these things in a moment. Alright, let's get in here and help with the raid before I start looking at loot. Um, that's a solid upgrade for me, I think. Actually, that's really cool. Um, I'm, it looks like it's a lot of uh, green, very little red on the stats there. What, so what is that? Yeah, solid upgrade. Item level 905. That's like the first time I've, up I've had an upgrade that's more than um, one item level in a long time. And that's not saying a lot, I guess, but like... Let's not get up by this garbage. <laughs> That's kind of cool. It's uh, we're getting like nuked from above. Let's not get killed by that. I'm gonna sprint up here, catch up with these guys. Let's attack this big one. Yeah, this seems good. Uh, Blade Flurry is really useful for these trash pulls like this. I get it. Actually, I feel like I'm legitimately contributing a decent amount of DPS as opposed to. Um, if I weren't, <laughs> if I weren't uh, blade flurrying, like you know, a single target DPS would be so much less effective here than basically AOEing. So I always appreciate that. Uh, let's do a roll of bones once we get a little more. I don't know why it really matters that much. I should look ahead at the third boss. Where are we at? I'm closing in the second boss, but I should look at the third boss. I always forget where Adventure Guide is. Adventure Guide, Adventure Guide. Okay. And Torin High Command. Um, shooting that guy a little bit. Okay. Torin High Command. I'm going to read this while I just kind of whack whatever I'm hitting here. Whatever I can hit. Uh, let's scroll down a little. Group up under a fell shield to mitigate the effects of. We'll say it. Okay. Find a fell shield and group up under it. Hey, there's a knockback. That's fun. I just talked about wanting some more knockback effects, which probably everyone else hates, but I think they're fun. Uh, uh, interrupt fanatical pyromancers and cast pyroblast. Okay, fanatical pyromancers. Don't want to kick. Uh, sh no, I don't know why. Maybe the vote to kick has been passed. <laughs> Rip. Okay, I, I said no, and everyone else said yes. I don't even know why, but I'm sure there's a good reason for it. Nice, all dead. Okay. Maximum use of Legion command pods. Make maximum use. Okay. Next boss, okay. So, for the third boss, get under fell shields, interrupt pyromancers. This boss, it says to, I took some notes, like I said, I made a little notepad here. Um, if target by decimation, if target by decimation, move, okay, sorry, that's the other boss, okay, desolate gaze, avoid being, so if desolate gaze is like a line of fire thing, um, okay, so avoid that, what is this, is that against a quest, you're already on that quest, uh, bring the cursed shard to, okay, got it, cool, uh, stand near siphoned, but away from inflamed people. So if someone's being siphoned, stand near them. If they're inflamed, stand away from them. Got it. Near siphoned, away from inflamed. They're chatting and they're, they're like plotting out things. Oh, let's, let's pop one of these. I got nothing else to do with those. Where's my potion? I do have potions here, right? Okay. 
How much health do I actually have? I always forget. Okay. We're going. Wow, this is scary. I feel like we're gonna wipe. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it just feels like we're gonna wipe somehow. I guess I can turn off Blade Flurry at the moment. I think we might have had them like grouped together, but apparently not. So, we're not doing that. Oops, scoot up, scoot up, scoot up. Okay. How's the other guy doing? I don't really know the DPS order here, but apparently we're mo mainly attacking this guy. So, that's fine with me. He doesn't seem to have a ton of health, but I wonder if we could kill him at the same time or anything like that. Uh, if they have shared health pools. Someone said everyone know basic fight, right? And I did not know the basic fight. I did not reply to that. <laughs> it's like, uh, <laughs> sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to be in that. That looks bad. Let's get away from that. Okay. Yeah. I did not want to get sucked into that, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I, I know that's uh, not a good thing to be in. Seeing as how everyone else is also running away from it. Uh, it's like... It's like the old, uh... Video game logic. like Or not video game logic, just like... Life logic. Like if everyone's running away from something, you probably don't want to run into it. Unless you're like the star of a movie, then you run into danger, right? But everyone else runs away from danger. This like gaze is on that guy. So I want to not be in that line of sight. Yep, right. Got it. I can do that. Actually, it's pretty nice animation. I didn't realize there's like such a, a large beam, like the little red, uh, big red like lanes they showed. Made it pretty obvious where I should and should not stand. So that's handy. Okay, how's this guy doing over there? It's hard to tell. Oh, it's, oh right, it's over here on the top right. I'm stupid. We're actually pretty even split between the, the DPS, so I don't know if that's good or bad or what, but seems like we're doing well. All I'm doing is spamming um, Saber Slash until I build up combo points and then do a run through. Otherwise, I keep, I'm trying to keep my roll the bones going. Oh, no, don't want to be in that. Get away from me. Get away from me. That thing's pretty cool. I wish that was a spell like a, like a, I don't know, Warlocks had that? That'd be a cool spell. Especially, like, obviously for like PvP purposes, but I, I'm just imagining like old school Outstrike Valley, you get a bunch of people together, and you like launch that through the pack of them, that would be fun. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to keep my health up a little bit just by casting, um, I, I occasionally cast Cloak of the Shadows, which I notice makes me immune sometimes to negative effects, so I just occasionally will spam it. It has a cooldown, but it doesn't have any energy cost, so it doesn't seem like it really hurts my DPS too significantly, right? Um, so I've been enjoying popping that time to time, and then I'll pop, obviously, Crimson Vial from time to time too, which does have energy cost, of course, which that means it actually is taken with my DPS. That seems somewhat worth it. Ooh, let's get out of the way of those guys. Yikes, that's scary looking. Uh, we only have t three deaths so far. One of them's a healer, though, I think, right? That's not good. That seems really bad. In which case, I should probably definitely make sure I keep my health up as best I can. I want to pull up this, get this ready, in case I need to pop a health potion. But we seem to be doing pretty well, right? Like, I mean, losing healer kind of seems like a bad thing, but this should only have th three. Whoop, whoop, let's get away from that. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. And it looks like if I get targeted by that, um, uh, what's it called, the, the, the line of fire thing, I should run to this back corner. That seems like the way to go. Well, if I want to wipe the raid, I can run, like, in target, in line with the tank, but it seems like it's a bad idea. Generally speaking, right? So I'm going to not do that. I'd like to not wipe the raid. Man, if we go 1, 2, 3 without wiping, I'm going to be pretty satisfied with that. Like, as far as bosses go, like new raids, I kind of expected more bad things to happen, but... Nice. Yay, more file augment runes. <laughs> Not the most useful thing ever, but... No. Taking the teleporter, let's go. Okay. Closing in on Antoran High Command itself, themselves, itself. 
I recognize the trappings of the generals commanding the Legion's forces. Before Sargeras took our world, <laughs> these generals marshaled our armies and brought peace to Argus. They everything. I gotta heal up before I'm starting to die. There can be no redemption. Only retribution. Hmm. Okay. I was in a little bit of villain's chat there. I can't decide how much really like 300 agility actually means for me. I mean, it seems like pretty insignificant, right? If I have 40,000 agility, 300 seems like super negligible to me. Um, it's like less than 1% of an agility boost. So, like, I'll use it because I don't know what else I'm going to do with all these things that I've been stocking up over the course of leveling my tune and raiding and all that. But, like, it just doesn't seem like it's that important. Like, I don't know, 1%. I guess 1% is still 1%. Uh, but it's just, I don't know, it seems fairly insignificant. Um, it's not like, like a Flask of the Titans would be for, uh, uh, like, a Vanilla Warrior, which is, like, maybe 20% of their health or something. 10, 10 or 20% of their health, if not more, depending on what they're, how they're geared. Um, okay. I'm going to drop the character sheet. Don't need that up anymore. Just kind of looking at that for stats. And Ash and Rain. How much are those vendors for? Huh, cool. This guy looks kind of beefy. I'm gonna not stand in that. Okay, that's better. He's still whirling around, but it doesn't seem to be dodging most of his shenanigans, so that's good. Can I, like, kick to interrupt this guy? I don't know if I could have or not. I just did, and I don't know if it ended at the same time or if it actually worked, but. I wasn't paying attention to the little bar to see if it was... Oop, let's stand with that. Yeah, okay. Sure, that's parry. <laughs> Why not? I never... I very rarely use, uh... My parry. That's actually a name bomb, right? Imperator... Deconix. Deconix? 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 Hmm. Alright, where are we? Hand of the High Command. I think High Command's behind this guy still. Yeah. It's like, okay. You know, I have a uh, Blade Flurry on, but it's kind of pointless, because we're not near... <laughs> the mobs are all spread out. I wonder if they need to be spread out. Oh, no, they come back together. Good. Maybe think that maybe we needed to have them spread for some reason I'm unaware of, but... I want to kick this guy and interrupt his spells, but I, uh, every it, everyone else is interrupting it faster. And this time, when I could have interrupted it, I used it on the other skill that I saw him pop up, which I thought was going to be the one I could interrupt. Uh, but obviously not. Fail. Okay. So where where's the boss? Oh, dear God. Uh... I'm not going to get a res, am I? <laughs> well... I really hope I don't miss the final boss. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, I know it's pretty fast to run back, but I, yeah, no, I kind of like just get a res. I, I, I don't mean to complain. Like, I, I'm obviously I'm not understanding maybe something. And there's only three healers, so it's like they're still clearing trash. So I still have a chance to get there. Maybe this teleporter will just like boost me all the way there. That'd be handy. I'm so dumb. I just trust that guy. I just like, oh, that guy knows what he's doing. He took the teleporter. Which earlier... Earlier, I didn't take the teleporter that was here. Because I, you know, I died the first boss. And then I was just like, oh, I'll just run through here. Because um, that seemed to work fine. And then I saw the teleporter afterwards. I was like, oh, I don't know what that does. But it, I don't need it. And then uh, I, I, I was a fool for trusting this guy, Russia Line. What have, I, what have I done? I put my faith in someone I should not be trusting. It's like they're on the boss now. Um... See how that goes. Maybe I'll get there in time to see some of this goodness. Um, where am I actually going? Okay, yeah. It was like after the second boss was the teleporter. Here it is. I was like, am I like going the wrong way? I saw like a split there. Maybe think like this. Yeah. Yeah. So are they at the boss? Are they fighting the boss? Oh, they're saying let's just one shot this quick. 
Um, someone in chat said, well, actually, I, I have a sensor. I censor my curse words uh, using the options in-game. And it said something ing, so effing. And then four-letter word that's censored. And then the word show. You can probably put that together. Effing something show. So... I'm gonna sprint to catch up. Let's pop another one of these runes. I guess they die. They obviously wipe off when you die. Um. Oh man, missed it. Someone says, uh, "Let's just one shot this quick." Okay, I can I can agree with that. Oh, I never inserted my timer. Fail. Oh well. That's a huge tower. Man. This is giving me, like, flashbacks to the Undercity Tower. Uh, or even the Nomergon Tower. Not Ice Tower, Elevator, Elevator. Kind of cool looking, though. Alright, got the coin of many faces. Let's do this. I think it's the right way. Oh, both ways work. Alright. Admiral Zvirix. Zvirix. I feel like there's going to be multiple ones here. Um, group up under a fell shield. Okay, fell shield, right. To mitigate. Interrupt power mancers. Okay. Let's kill this Pyromancer. Okay, Pyromancer's dead. Maybe Blade Flare is good here. I mean, we got a few targets, so might as well. I think I'll target the big one, but I'll stay close enough that I'm Blade Flaring everything. That seems sensible. Okay, I'm gonna turn off Blade Flare. Uh, maybe turn on Blade Flare? I, I'm asking the Blade Flurry on. I don't know exactly, but I, sh I know it should be hitting stuff at least. Oh, let's let's keep this fanatical Pyromancer. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, so I need to keep better eye on the fanatical Pyromancer. Like when they spawn, I need to be targeting them so I can kick if I need to. I haven't kicked any. I haven't interrupted a single one. I should be doing that. Let's kill this guy. There. Okay. okay. Shop trooper, let's stand near it so we get the blade flurry on that too. Oh, that was a really good roll of bones. I think I just got like five things. Sick. Ah, uh, what's it doing? Uh, exits its command pod. Got it. Okay. I got it. Okay. What do I do with that? I don't remember. Probably not stand in that. There's a pyromancer. Interrupted it. Nice, nice. I got one of them. Interrupted one. I'm useful. Ish. Sort of, sometimes. I'm gonna target the big guy since we're all, um... They're all near him anyway. We got a shield there. Should've been using this earlier, maybe. Um... I don't... I, I'm sort of actually like getting distracted pretty severely here. Pyromancer, let's get on that Pyromancer. Oh, I, I wasted interrupt there. Okay. Can I stun these guys? Oh, doesn't look like be stunned, okay. Um, but we need to keep targeting this thing. I can't interrupt it, I don't have an interrupt. I tried to interrupt it. I didn't have a kick on, it was on cooldown. Got that one at least, okay. Alright, let's go back to the big guy over here. Uh, I don't see any pyromancers. I'm mainly like, I feel like I'm just trying to DPS the big guy and then focus on pyromancers. Keep an eye out for pyromancers. Okay, that guy's out of his command pod. Good. Should let's kill this thing. It seems like killing those guys that are in the back makes some sense, but 
General Eridus, okay. Ooh, that's okay. I've only got one death over there so far. You can't, yeah, you can see at the bottom, just above my face there. I'm gonna pop some health stuff for myself. Okay, pop a bunch of cooldowns. Uh, where's the back of this guy? There it is. I, I like, lose track of sometimes the front and backs of the bosses. Like, they just, uh, you can't always tell to me. I'm just, like, scrubbed here, of course. I have trouble finding him. Um, I feel like I don't want to stand in any of that stuff. Oh, God. That, that, like, giant blue orb that drops, I don't know what that is. I, I still haven't figured it out because I'm just not very good at this. But it's scary every single time. Um, I keep popping on my bags, keep thinking I'm going to use my, um... Heal potion, but then I never end up using it. Uh, this guy does not seem to be summoning adds, so I'm gonna turn off Blade Flurry and just get the extra energy regeneration. Um, I think most of us just stand here. I don't know, maybe it's that, that ability doesn't really do much. Hmm. Okay. This is the last one. There's gotta be one more, right? Or is there only three? I see three, it looks like, but. Maybe when you get him 25%, something happens. There we go, 30% or so. Okay, cycle. Ooh, that was a really good, uh, just super good roll of bones. This looked really good to me. I think I have about four or five on that. Oh, Pyromancer. Let's uh, do that. Put Blade Flurry Black on, back on, since we've got a handful of mobs here at least. I think the Pyromancer, the Pyromancer is definitely dead, but I don't think there's any more in those other ones there. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm trying to keep, like I said, keep an eye out for Pyromancers and such, but... Okay. 20%, oh, there's a Pyromancer in this probably, there it is. I'll interrupt that one, got it. Good. Let's focus it down. Seems like the Pyromancer is that Pyroblast does a decent amount of damage, so it's really important to kill them. Whereas the little uh, Felgar guys, that, although they do some damage, they seem remarkably less deadly, at, at least in LFR. Um, so it seems like, yeah, you want to kill them, but they're not really priority in the same sense. Um, you've only still got one death, that's good. It looks like most people are in pretty good health. I don't know. I think we're good. I think we're in the clear here, as long as we don't do something really dumb. I don't know if there's any more transitions or not. Um, hopefully not. All the bones, pop my cooldowns. Apparently I can't quite pop. There we go, pop them. Pfft, bad timing on that. That's okay. So it must be timer based, not um, health based. I was thinking it was like every 25% they're rotating. But it's just it's apparently not. Alright, let's finish this guy off. Boom, dead. Got him. Nice. So what do I loot? This thing over here? Let's see what I get. Anything? The war council oh. has finally paid cool. for their treachery. Without their leadership, the Legion will fall into chaos. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. Um, on the bright side, I got like a three item level upgrade. We got a new item. And I got a quest item here, which I don't know exactly. I mean, did I miss anything? Okay, it looks like I'm good. Cool. I need to go do that quest. I don't know what what that quest um, what the quest for. I don't actually remember the name of the quest either, unfortunately. Uh, that's I, I still need to do some quests over here. Uh, still haven't. Yeah, I need to do some quests. Um, here we go. So where is this quest? The Cursed Shard. Can I just click the quest? There we go. I was like, where is it? Okay, ah, okay. Um, I think my heart is set to... Oh, I've got a heart set for Dalaran. Okay, let's do that. Let's go there and check that out. You know what? I have a feeling Unspeakable Power is a quest I should have had going into this, but to it now. Um, let's head over there and see what this quest does. Slow load. 
anyway, yeah, so I don't know what the quest for, but I assume it's like something you can eventually turn in for, like, you know, better gear. Um, this looks really goofy. An orc on a plane strider, tall strider. Ah, okay, the cursed shard. So is this the entrance here? This almost looks, there we go, got it, yep. Okay. Uh, the cursed shard, complete quest. A titanic effort. Bring 50 awakening essence. Okay. I don't actually know. I, I don't really. Hmm. Well. I've got 16 awakening essences. How did I even get. Did I get those from the bosses? I actually don't know how I got those. Anyway. I have to figure out what those are. I will do that off camera. Um, that was the first first wing, the only wing open. I don't know, uh, I need to check when the next wing's open. I guess it's probably once per week. Um, but eventually, work my way up to Seat of the Pantheon. And I'm kind of excited to see all these. I, I think looking for Raid, it has its own, it has character in a certain way. Um, I don't want to sell the virtues of it as being amazing, but it's, it's fun. I have fun doing it. And it's kind of cool just seeing the bosses, even if they're not all of the content, right? But see, you know, I still can see the bosses. And we didn't wipe. Well, I think we only had like 10 deaths total. I died twice, at least. So anyway, uh, that's all for today. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.